did my hair today to match yours. It's wonderful. Well done. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome. I am Mixed Media Girl. This is Devil Rider Man himself, Mr. Ralph. And today we're going to be working on his guitar. Fender Squire Telecaster for those uh, technical That's guitar good. people. I would have had no idea. Alright, all right. Okay. so the first thing we do need to do is sand this. He already took off all the, the hardware and the strings. Um, so this is some 120 grit. I think will work fairly well. We may go a little lower uh, to go a little faster. But yeah, we're just going to sand this. Honestly, we don't need to take off all of the finish. We need to really just rough it up though and get as much of it off as we can. And then we're gonna go ahead and paint it. So that's what we're gonna do first. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we're back. Ralph has um, pretty much sanded this thing electrically. That's the word. Um, and he's now gonna do the rest by hand that he couldn't hit uh, with the electric sander while I get started with mixing up the resin. All right, have at it. We have now finished sanding and we've taped this off. So we're going to be mixing in our resin colors. We are going to be using uh, the Stone Coat countertops, um, actual epoxy, the countertop epoxy, because it's harder, UV resistant, etc., and more durable. And um, we're going to be using the dark red metallic mica powder. Uh, the bright silver metallic mica powder and then uh, the black base tint and then the gold metallic mica powder. Yay. <laughs> okay, go ahead and start stirring that. And we're going to be doing this in two parts. So we're going to do the front and then after that's all dry, we'll do the back. Smells lovely. Your face smells lovely. <laughs> oh, I like that red. Oh, I love the red. <laughs> so as I was saying earlier, it's uh, exciting because like when you get a paint job, you know you can match up the paint and look at the guitar and check back and forth and see what you think. But with this, it's like we don't really know how it's going to come out. But I'm still excited because it's I know it's going to look awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, resin is self-leveling, so we really don't have to worry too much about these spots. Um, so go ahead and get in there with your, start getting in there with your colors. Right. Yeah. I'm going to just hit the edges over here. On top of them? Yeah. Okay. This is where you get to be the artist. <laughs> you get to get creative. Um, you right. can, if it's easier, mm -hmm. use the stick. To kind of... Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. You know, to kind of create some designs. Uh -huh. Okay? Great. Okay. All right. While you're doing that, I'm going to start feeding on there with a torch. thing for me is nobody is going to have a, a, 
Yeah, no. I was going to say telecast with a guitar like this. You no know, way to duplicate this. Absolutely unique totally original. as it gets. Mm -hmm. I love that red on the end there. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking that a lot of the time it's, if you, it looks better if it's not played with so much. It's kind of like that bit, that red bit's the better bit. It will, yeah, I mean, it'll have reactions itself. Right. get to a point of I really like that do I want to add more to that it's kind of but yeah uh, it's kind of welcome to my life <laughs> <laughs> um, not an ex me a girl baby oh something doesn't get knocked over <laughs> that's all I can say I wonder if them, like mixing in some of the paints, I mean I'm not touching that red bit, that's beautiful, and this gold bit, I like but maybe mixing some gold with that, not something like that. Sure, you can also feel free to take your finger and kind of play around with it, Okay. you know, mm -hmm. that will, um, do you see those cells yes. there? Yeah. So that will continue to do that as right. well, oh, um, but yeah, feel free to go ahead and stick some of the gold in there. What do you think? Oh, incredible. I love that. That's like, I never imagined it would come out as amazing. As <laughs> okay, I'm wow. in there with the torch again. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a bit tricky to get any colors on the side there. Or... Well, yeah, if you look over over. here. Ah, here. We can spill them over a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. How about it? So it's not just a uh, blob running <laughs> down kind of thing. I mean, you see this red line? Yeah. So that's where I took the stick and I went through there. Yes, that's right. You can also do that with a stick and make like kind of a line and it will continue over. Right. If you want. Okay. She's up to you. You done? Leave it? Yeah. Silver, I reckon. Okay. So I gotta remember I'm gonna have a scratch plate over the top of that yes. there, so I'm not really concerned much about tiny bit of silver or gold here, I think. I just do this bit here. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to like that, that swirly gold and silver there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be lovely. Cool. Oh. What do you think? Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah? That's wonderful. Shame those scratch plates could go over there, yeah, but yeah. catch most of that. But that's fine. I might, might actually leave the scratch plate off. Yeah, why not? Why not? I can do, do that. I can do that, yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're going to prop this up and then we're going to let it dry and then we're going to come back and do the back of it the next time.
All right, everybody. So we're back. We have sanded this down. We didn't get all the resin off, but we don't need to because we're covering it. We just wanted to rough it up and make it nice and flat again. So it is. And then we taped off where we don't want the resin to go, obviously, like on the parts we already did. And we're going to just gently get it to the edge. As we're doing this, we're not going to, like, you know, shove it into the tape. And today we're actually using the Stone Coat Countertops Quick Coat, which has only about a 15 minute working time. We're gonna be using the same colors, um, and yeah, we're gonna just give this a go. All right, so we have now done the back. Uh, Ralphie wanted to drip it down the sides here. So we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> we're going to be, um, I mean, we have to sand it to put the clear coat on anyways. So there you go. We removed the tape already so that it didn't get stuck to the guitar, obviously. And we're going to just let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll sand it down. And we'll do our clear coat. So. <laughs> so there you have it. The final finished product. I put it all back together again with some electronic changes. I absolutely love the way that it looks. I also love the way that it sounds. And I'll be doing some more videos to show you guys what it sounds like as well. Well, thank you to Mixed Media Girl, who certainly would not have been possible without her. And thank you to Stone Cold Countertops for their resin. It really makes the finish really tough and shiny. It's pretty indestructible right now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to doing more videos for you. Well, have a great day. Bye for now.